This here is a brand new board from Arduino and is the latest in the line of Nano microcontrollers. This is the Arduino Nano ESP32 which unsurprisingly is powered by an ESP32 chip, specifically the ESP32 S3. In this video we are going to review the Nano ESP32 and tell you how it stacks up. We are going to cover how you can program this board and give you a demo to demonstrate its capabilities. So welcome to a Learn Embedded Systems microcontroller review where we review new microcontrollers that you might want to use in your projects. If you want to stay up to date with these then make sure you subscribe. Now I said that this is the latest in the Arduino Nano family so let's look at where it fits in in that lineup. I think that there are five main nano types. To start with we have the bog standard Arduino Nano which is an 80 mega 3 to 8 powered board with not that much extra going on. This is available from Arduino for a pretty steep 20 euros. There is also the Arduino Nano Every which changed the microcontroller from the 80 mega 328 to the more advanced 80 mega 4809 which in reality didn't really change much other than not requiring an external crystal. Arduino lists this board at €12.50. Euros now we're getting into the more interesting Arduinos with the Nano 33 series and I believe the 33 stands for the 3.3 volt operating voltage of these boards compared to the 5 volts of the previous boards. There are three versions of these boards, the IoT, BLE and BLE Sense. The IoT board is a SAM D21 powered board featuring a U-Box Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. The BLE version is powered by the NRF 52840 and only sports Bluetooth. And the BLE Sense version adds a lot of extra functionality to the base BLE version. Things like an IMU, a microphone and a barometric sensor. Then we have the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect which is quite feature packed and is powered by the RP2040 microcontroller. It has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity as well as an onboard microphone and IMU. We actually have a video reviewing this board that I will link up in the cards above. The Arduino Nano ESP32 slots into the lineup as the second cheapest board and has good connectivity but not too many extra features. So that was a quick summary of the education focused Nano line of microcontrollers. Do you know who else is focused on education and helping you learn and achieve your goals? That's right, this video's sponsor, Brilliant.org. With thousands of interactive lessons on a wide range of topics like maths, data science and computer science, you can boost your skills in as little as 15 minutes per day. I personally learned a lot with Brilliant's data science courses, specifically how to deal with things like statistics, and I learned skills that I now use every day. The feeling of progression after completing a lesson really makes learning with Brilliant fun and engaging. Go try everything that Brilliant has to offer free for 30 days by visiting brilliant.org slash learn embedded systems or click the link down in the video description. The first 200 of you that sign up with that link below will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Now let's get back to the Arduino Nano ESP32. I previously mentioned that this board comes in at 18 euros or 20 USD. Header pins are included in the box but if you don't fancy soldering them yourself then you can spend a euro or dollar more for the pre-soldered header versions. I purchased my board from the official Arduino website and it cost me 6 euros for shipping, uh, I believe from Italy. In terms of dimensions we of course have the standard Arduino Nano form factor of 43.18 millimeters by 17.78 millimeters. The pinout of the board matches all the previous nano boards but just as a heads up the operating voltage of this board is 3.3 volts and not the uh, and not the 5 volts of the baseline Arduino Nano or Nano Every. So this means it might not be a complete drop in replacement in some of those projects. Now let's take a look at the specs of this board. Firstly we have a USB-C connector which is a nice change from the typical micro USB on the other nano boards. I really hope that this becomes the standard on all newer nano boards that come after this one. We have a reset button as well as three LEDs. One is a green power LED that indicates the board is powered. 
Then there is another LED to indicate activity over the SPI SCK line or the serial clock line, but can also be toggled manually. And finally we have an RGB LED, which is nothing like a, a, a NeoPixel, um, nothing programmable like that. It's just a red, green and blue LED on a package controllable over three individual GPIO pins. There is 16 megabytes or 128 megabits of external flash storage on this board, which supports the Nora W10610B module from UBlox. And this module contains an ESP32, S3, SOC, and an onboard antenna. The ESP32 S3 is a dual core Extensa 32 bit microcontroller that is clocked to up to 240 MHz. It has 384 kilobytes of ROM or read only memory and 512 kilobytes of SRAM. The UBlox module has 8 megabytes of onboard PS RAM. There is no on-chip flash storage for your programs, and that's the reason why there's an external flash chip on the board. The ESP32 S3 has Wi-Fi 4 support and is 802.11 BGN compliant. The chip only supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and has a maximum data rate of 150 megabits per second. According to the Arduino datasheet, the maximum range of this module is a very nice 500 meters, but I strongly doubt you could even reach a tenth of that in real world performance. The ESP32 also supports Bluetooth 5 low energy and can support data rates of up to 2 megabits per second. In terms of interfaces, the ESP32 S3 has 4 SPI, 3 UART, 2 I2C, 2 I2S, an 8 channel PWM controller, a USB on the go interface, a CAN interface, also called a TWAI controller, an LCD interface and a DVP camera interface. There are two 12-bit ADC or analog to digital converters providing up to 20 channels and these can be sampled up to 100 kilo samples per second. There are a variety of other features including some low power coprocessors to complement the main uh, two beefy cores um, for low power applications. Basically, you can switch off the main power hungry cores and use the low power coprocessors to monitor things and switch the main cores back on when needed. I'll leave a link to the ESP32 S3 and the UBlox uh, module datasheet down in the video description. I did some simple power consumption tests on this board and I got the following results. Whilst idling in a loop, the Nano ESP32 drew 31 milliamps of power. When transmitting over Wi-Fi, it pulled 300 milliamps, but only 95 milliamps when receiving. In Bluetooth mode, it topped out at 210 milliamps while transmitting and 88 milliamps when receiving. In deep sleep mode, the board pulled 4 milliamps. This is quite high for deep sleep, but it's because all of the extra components on a dev board compared to just the ESP32 chip. In terms of programming, the Nano ESP32, we of course have Arduino IDE support. To use the board, I just had to update the Arduino ESP32 boards package, and it was then available for me to select. Arduino are also offering or advertising two other methods of programming this board. One is via the Arduino web editor, which is essentially an online version of the Arduino IDE, and you can download your sketches to the board via a browser plugin. The other is the Arduino IoT Cloud, which isn't ready for this board, but will be from August. It's essentially a way of, again, writing code online, but also deploying it and visualizing the results in one place. Maybe that one might be worth trying when it's available, but for now, I'm going to stick with the Arduino IDE. Now, let's set up a quick demo. I recently, a bit of a side topic, but I was recently having some issues with my fridge. I know it's a bit of a weird start, but my fridge was freezing some of my food and not other bits, and it was really annoying me. So I decided to set up an experiment, and I used a thermocouple attached to a Max 6675 thermocouple amplifier breakout board, which was wired up to the Arduino Nano ESP32 via SPI. Then I wrote a simple sketch, which essentially connects the nano to a Wi-Fi network, then reads the temperature of the thermocouple and sends it to a local MQTT server. This is a server that I set up in a previous video, linked in the cards above. 
Um, when the data is received by the MQTT server, a node red flow takes that data and sends it into an InfluxDB database, which is then viewable over Grafana. Then you can see nice and clearly on the dashboard. And I was able to see the temperatures in my fridge and found out that some parts were way too cold and other parts were way too warm. Now let's get into some thoughts and conclusions. If we ignore the price of this board and look at it in comparison to other Arduino Nanos, there is a fair bit to like. Firstly, the USB-C connector is a nice considerable upgrade over the micro USB on the previous Arduino Nanos. The ESP32 S3 is a nice boost in performance over some of the other offerings, especially the 80 mega based boards. However, in reality, you can't just ignore the price, can you? 18 euros is quite steep for something that isn't that far off an ESP32 S3 dev board. I mean, hop onto AliExpress and you'll have to find a bunch of them for about a quarter of the price with shipping. Now I admit, they won't have the build quality or reliability of the Arduino boards, or maybe the nano form factor might be the thing that makes it worth it to you, but I guess only you can decide that. The connectivity of the Nano ESP32 is a good start, but I feel that if they added more th extra features, a bit like the RP2040 Connect, then I think this would start becoming a bit more of a compelling sell. I think that boards like the Raspberry Pi Pico W offer similar performance, can also be programmed in the Arduino IDE, and is a fraction of the price, might be a better op option. So what do you think of the Arduino Nano ESP32? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below, and thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and please do consider subscribing.